Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan, the YouTube channel that is not hosted by a sociopath, a narcissist, or a grifter. No, I am your host. So, like many of you guys, you, a lot of you guys probably enjoy the work of the actress Aubrey Plaza. I first discovered her back in Parks and Rec and watched her career bloom as it has over the past few years. So I was so totally disappointed to see that they, they, the dairy industry, has taken Aubrey Plaza, paid her off to become a shill to peddle their crap. I mean, does she really need this? I mean, she seems to be doing so well as an actress. Did she really need to, to take this dirty money from the dairy industry to promote a product that's just laden and inherent with, with cruelty? I'll get more into ethics of dairy farming later on, but we'll get to her ad here. We'll just look at some of the highlights of it. This It's a play off their old Got Milk campaign. This time it's Got Wood, trying to compare plant-based milks to being like wood, zero nutritional value. Like. Hi, I'm Aubrey Plaza. You know me as an actress, but I'm also the co-founder of Wood Milk, the world's first and only milk made from wood. Wood milk started with a simple idea. I saw a tree and I asked myself, can I drink this? As it turns out, the answer is yes. If you make it into milk. Here at Wood Milk Orchards, we grow our trees the old fashioned way, right out of the ground. And we're certain our eco-friendly, artisanal, free range wood milk will be the only milk you'll want to drink for the rest of your life. So let me just pause here for a second. They're trying to be funny with their script here. I mean, is it funny? I mean, as a vegan, obviously not, but I don't know even you non-vegans. I mean, this is just crap humor, right? Comment down below. Why? Because you're thirsty and because you want it. Because you want that wood as your milk. All right, I gotta pause again. This is so stupid. Yeah, wood, tastes like wood, it's crap, right? But plant-based milk, whole different thing. I want plant-based milk for two reasons. A, first of all, it's delicious, unlike wood. Secondly, there's no cruelty involved, so I... Uh... Our wood milk is bottled right here in the forest, which locks in the flavors like oak, cherry, maple, and of course, mahogany. And if you can't pick your favorite, that's okay. Because they all taste like wood. I mean, what are they trying to say there? That plant-based milks all are either tasteless or taste the same, which is complete nonsense. Plant-based milks are d delicious. Unless you have a flavor that you're not particularly fond of, like say me, hemp milk. I don't really like the taste of hemp milk all that much. I'll avoid that when there's way more delicious, say almond or oat milks, which taste different from each other. Now let's take a look at how wood milk is born. Not born, exactly. More like squished into a slime that's legal to sell. Yes, plant-based milks aren't born. They, are, they don't have mothers, they don't have faces, they're not sentient beings. This is what's so amazing and wonderful about plant-based milks. Yes, they're not born. Why are you trying to make that sound like a bad thing? This is, this is complete nonsense. Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of our efforts. Not fruits, wood. Got wood? Is wood milk real? <laughs> Absolutely not. Only real milk is real. Then what did I invest in? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just so frustrating. I am angered. Plant-based milks are not real. What are they then? They're fake? They don't exist in the real world? I mean, they're milks. They're milks from plants. But no, as we'll uncover here in a second, I'll show you who exactly is funding this and take a wild guess that has something to do with the United States dairy industry with some backing from the United States government as well. Um, they're telling us, yeah, don't drink plant-based milks. They're not real, but they have all to gain from this because their sole purpose, this, these groups, that promoted this, their, their whole purpose is to make United States people drink even more dairy. So yeah, believe them. Yeah, believe their word here. They have nothing, no, no stake in the matter here. Um, plants are not real. Yeah, I, I just learned that today. Veganism debunked. 
Plants aren't real. You heard it here first, guys. And apparently, I'm not the only person that thinks this advertisement from Aubrey Plaza and the dairy industry here is complete crap. If you go to the comments on the YouTube video for it, it's turned off. I wonder why. And if you look at her personal Instagram page, yes, she promoted this on her personal Instagram page. I wonder how much that costs the dairy industry. Comments are turned off as well. And the reason why you're not seeing any comments is because I'm hearing around the internet is that people hate this ad. No surprise. And if you didn't think this was the stupidest ad campaign of all time, the dairy industry went to the trouble to make this really beautiful looking website for drink wood milk. Yes, this is a real actual website. And on it, they're sure to point out all the great benefits of drinking cruelty and pus, such as getting some protein and having 13 essential nutrients and minerals in every glass compared to wood milk, which they say is 100% fake. It has zero grams of everything because it's literally fake. And obviously wood milk has zero nutritional value. I mean, they even have a, a t-shirt you can buy it. I mean, really. But they have this disclaimer here saying these eco-friendly shirts are real. They're, they're legit. You can really buy these shirts. And be advised, though, that wood milk is 100% fake and completely made up. Only dairy milk is real. Paid for by Got Milk. So now we're getting to the real money behind this ad campaign of Got Milk and Got Wood. It was started by the California Milk Processor Board in 1993. Got Milk was. And then those guys licensed the slogan Got Milk to the National Milk Processors Education Program in 1995. And they're the ones that blew it up with all the TV and print ads that we've been seeing our whole lives featuring celebrities like Britney Spears, Beyonce, Rihanna, the Williams sisters. And now we can add Aubrey Plaza to this list. So who is this milk processor education program? Here's their homepage. And how funny, they have one line from that t-shirt disclaimer, how dairy milk is packed with protein and 13 essential nutrients. I guess that's their whole tagline. That's all they got. They just copy and paste that. Anyway, this whole milk pep program was born by a 1990 act of Congress to increase dairy milk consumption through consumer marketing. And their board is governed by no other than our government, the USDA. And these board members on our USDA are not just like regular bureaucrats. These are people who work in the dairy industry, specifically fluid milk processors. So that's where the Got Milk campaign came from. I never knew. And now I know I'm completely justified when I call Aubrey Plaza a paid chill of the dairy industry because she is. This whole Got Milk or Got Wood campaign funded by the United States dairy, dairy industry through an act of Congress that was made to solely promote the consumption of dairy products through marketing to Americans. I mean, this is just completely nuts. I mean, why does this even exist for? And, and all the misinformation information and lies like plant-based milks are tasteless or have no nutritional value well let's go look at that in a second here but i want to emphasize like who gets like their the bulk of their nutrition through drinking milk i mean i know lots of people and we can do just fine as vegans consuming no milk whatsoever look at me here zero milk in over 12 and a half years not deficient i have my blood test up here for you all to see i mean typically how does your average person really truly drink milk i mean they put a little bit in their coffee like a little bit i mean that little bit's not gonna be the thing that makes them like not have have protein deficiency or calcium deficiency or whatever or a little bit in their cereal i mean you're not supposed to be consuming massive amounts of milk that's what these dairy shills want you to believe that you need to do this like they say it's for athletic recovery and i've been doing just fine as an athlete and recovering without it i mean milk was intended for a a, a specific species not human like we're not talking human milk here it's for cows to produce for their babies to drink it wasn't intended for adult cows to drink. It was never intended for adult or young humans to drink. This is just complete nonsense that they're promoting that we need to drink milk. No, no human needs to drink milk to meet their nutritional requirements. So let's compare here cow's milk with oat milk, which is my favorite plant-based milk, hands down. And I said a second ago, I never drink milk. Well, I meant I'd never drink dairy milk, but yeah, oat milk, yeah, love it. And in one cup of cow's milk, you get 259 calories and only half that in oat milk, which might be good for some of us who are watching our calories. The protein is about half in the oat milk, but remember, you're getting half the calories. So if you double the calories, you'll have almost the same amount of protein. It has way less total fat, 
has um, even f fewer sugars than cow's milk, it has even more calcium than cow milk, and has more vitamin D. At least these particular brands that they sampled here in this article, I'm not sure which ones, maybe the ones you get aren't fortified, but anyway, just showing you how oat milk is far from being like wood, nutritionally devoid. But if somehow in this make-believe world of the dairy industry that plant-based milks have no nutrients, it's just like having wood put into your mouth, um, I would still consume plant-based milks. Why? Because the reason why I'm vegan, I'm not vegan trying to get the most nutrients possible or anything like that, even though I'm doing just fine, again, as my blood tests show, I'm vegan because I'm against animal cruelty and exploitation. And most people around the world are blissfully unaware of the inherent cruelty and exploitation that occurs in the dairy industry. For example, the forced repeated impregnations of female cows through artificial insemination, and this happens for a continuous five years of their lives, at which point they're considered spent, no longer useful to the industry, and they are killed or sold as low-grade beef or for other uses. And need I remind you, the natural lifespan of a dairy cow is 15 to 20 years or how the male calves who are birthed through these forced impregnations are often sent to slaughter or sold as veal. So any way you look at it, there's cruelty and blood on the hands of Aubrey Plaza and anyone involved taking money from the dairy industry to promote their cruel products to the American public or any public anywhere in the world. So that's why I'm making this video, calling out Aubrey Plaza, calling out the dairy industry, calling out the United States government for supporting and promoting dairy products. Why aren't you guys promoting plant-based milks? I thought we lived in some kind of free market economy here. How are plant-based milks supposed to compete with all the funding that the United States dairy boards and other government organizations devote to promoting cow milk. So please let me know your thoughts about the United States government subsidizing the dairy industry. Let me know what you think about Aubrey Plaza being the latest shill for the dairy industry. Did you respect her a lot before you knew this? And how do you feel about her now? I bet your opinion has probably changed a little bit. So let me know down below. Be kind. Don't be too mean to her. I, I didn't say anything too horrible about her other than I'm disappointed in that she's a shill and I'm not going to be a fan of hers anymore. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Hit like, share this video, please. Let's get the word out. And until next time, remember, don't suck being vegan.